in Jamaica is a guy called Joe Higgs, Jimmy Cliff. In 2010, Hebert was ranked number 71 in the Rolling Stone magazine, 100 Greatest Singers of All Time. In August 2012, it was announced that Toots would receive the Order of Jamaica, the country's fifth highest honor. And believe it or not, in this current year, which is 2021, it was announced that Toots was honored. The, the award of the best reggae album posthumously. Love Bob style. I love all of them style. All of us have different style. It was, it was if you do enjoy these videos, remember to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe because it do help us out a lot. Hebert was born on the 8th of December 1942. Hebert's hometown was Maypen, Jamaica. Hebert was the youngest of his siblings. Hebert's parents was both a strict seven-day Adventist and preachers. So Hebert grew up singing gospel music in our church choir. Both Hebert's parents died young and by the age of 11, Hebert was an orphan who went to live with his brother John in Trenchtown, Jamaica, neighborhood of Kingston. Hebert's zodiac sign is a Sagittarius, his nationality a born Jamaican. While in Kingston, Hebert obtained a local job at a barber shop where he met his future bandmates, Team Raleigh Garden and Jerry Matthias. I've got Toots' professions are songwriter, reggae dub, roots, and he's also a terrific vocalist and a pioneer. He would perform for six decades and help establish some of the fundamentals of reggae music. The reggae icon Hibbert is at the age 77 years old. Hibbert affiliate friends are Raleigh Garden, Paul Douglas, Jerry Matthias, and Jackie Jackson, Ray Charles, Wilson Pickett and James Brown. According to Mr. Hibbert, the metals is a reference to the Rasta culture term for doing the right thing. It was said that reggae legend Toots wrote two songs in the appreciation love he has for his wife. Song like It's You and Never You Change. In 1963, Hibbert recorded Hallelujah. It reflects on his Christian upbringing. Toots was also known to write about Rastafarian religious themes. In 1960, the Metals became one of the more popular vocal groups in the Jamaica. In the 60s, Toots and the Metals worked alongside Coxsong Dad Studio Records and Prince Buster and also Byron Lee and many more producers. Let me tell you that Toots win the Jamaica National Popular Song Contest three times in 1966 with the song name Bam Bam, 1969 with the song Sweet and Dandy and also in 1972 with the song entitled Pumps and Pride. Let me tell you that in 1966 Hibbert was sentenced to 18 months in prison for the possession of marijuana. This incarceration gave Toots inspiration for one of his best songs entitled 5446 That's My Number and Toots is known for one of the first artists to use the word reggae on the record in 1968. Toots associate with labels such as Trojan Records, Beverly Records and Island Records alongside V2 Records and Manga Record. It was said Toots inspired by Jimmy Cliff and Bob Marley. In 2005, Hibbert Teen The Metal's album entitled True Love won a Grammy Award for that specific album. Let me tell you that Hibbert was the one who formed The Metal's in 1961. Let me tell you that Hibbert nickname Toots was given by his older brother John. Toots was his nickname when he was a baby. Let me tell you that Toots married a teenager as teenager with his beautiful wife Miss Doreen Hibbert. They have seven children together, three of seven kids being published to social media such as Jennifer Hibbert Bailey and Liba Hibbert and also Junior Toots. 
So two daughter and one son, four still unknown. Let me tell you that in 2013, May 19, in the country Richmond, Virginia, Toots was struck by a vodka bottle that was thrown by an audience member during the concert in Richmond, Virginia. The injury caused Toots to cancel all US tours. Mr. Hibbert net worth is about $10 million and the superstar real name is Frederick Nathaniel Hibbert. Derek Morgan and Bob also influenced me too because we grew up together and Gracie and On the 1st of October 1975, Toots and the Maters were broadcast live on Kemet FM as they performed at Roxy Theater in Los Angeles. This broadcast was remastered and released as an album entitled Sailing on the Via Klondike Records in 1980. Toots and the Maters performed at Hammersmith Palace in the London and that song at that event was released at an album entitled Live Less Than 24 Hour. After it was recorded, that single made it in Guinness Book of World Record. In 1981, the Metal released the song called Knocked Out and in the same period of time, Toots released his greatest hits album called Toots in the Memphis for which he earned his first Grammy. Toots Hibbert hit songs are Fever, Love Gonna Walk Out On Me, It Must Be True Love and many more viewers and subscribers. Toots years active since 1961 until the 2020 of December 11 when Toots was deceased at the University Hospital of the West Indies in Kingston. It was said that Toots was somehow a suspect of COVID-19 even though it wasn't sure ability. Toots was buried at the National Hero Park in Kingston, Jamaica on November 8, 2020. Viewers and subscribers. I'm your host El Chapo Scott TV, you know, the best TV. Viewers and subscribers, bear in mind, just comment, share and like. Anything more left out, you don't know, don't know my thing, you know, each one to each one. No bashing, no bad word. I'm out. Big up on yourself.